Hello everyone, let us go for learning the how to do the reconciliation for the cement. We are dealing with the very important aspect related to the quantity survey that's a reconciliation as I have told you that reconciliation gives you the idea regarding how much of wastage that you are into or how much of extra usage of the material than the provision material you are into. So you need to keep a track of all that. So we are going to learn about the two most costly materials related to the construction industry that's cement and uh, steel. So let us go for learning the how to do the reconciliation for the cement. Now. Or as I told you, reconciliation of the cement as on date, it has been mentioned over here at the start of the sheet that uh, as we have discussed, you need to keep a track of the material extra usage or even a wastage on that, you know, per running account bill basis. So because of this, what happens, you keep a track and you are in a control, you know that every month or every per running account bill I am being, you know, getting on adding this much of wastage of material. So you just need to know that you need to keep a track of all these things. So based on that, you have to do it on a daily, every running account bill basis. So on site, you will find that this description of item to be a very lengthy and a huge one. I have just curtailed it down for the you know better understanding over here. And there will be thousands of other subcomponents into this one. Just for your understanding, I have curtailed it down to the simplest form of the PCC, RCC and a masonry work only taken. As a concreting has been done into the very uh, other things also, but we have just taken this three for our understanding. So what is the reconciliation sheet is going to tell us? There is serial number, then th there will be the description of the item wherein the concrete is be used. So now it is going to tell you in a unit that this much of cubic meter of concrete is being used for the PCC of one is to two is to four graded foundation. Okay, that's foundation PCC then 148 PCC for foundation is a 50 m cube then 1510 graded PCC for foundation is 25 m cube the similar with the RCC similar with the masonry okay the next one is that number of bags per cubic meter so we need this is a value we get directly from the you know, calculations we have or we need to calculate even we have calculated this value in a rate analysis if you remember if you don't I'll just go through it very fast so I want to calculate the number of bags will be needed for the utilization of the one cubic meter of concrete of grade one is to two is to four of grade one is to two is to four one cubic meter of concrete how many number of bags I'm going to need that we are going to calculate how we're going to do that that is proportion of the cement divided by sum of the proportions into dry volume now this is one cubic meter is a weight volume of the concrete that is given. What is dry volume? We take a 54% extra that is a 1.54 is a dry volume of that same concrete into density of cement to be 1440 kg per meter cube. So now this value ultimately comes out to be 6.36 something So that value is taken out to be 6.4. Similarly, you need to calculate the values for all the other uh, you know proportions that you're using on the site for this m25 and anything you, you obviously we are going to follow this rule that whatever the proportion that we have designed we have to put it over here and based on that we get the values now the total number of quantity of the bags how we are going to do that that is a total consumed concrete quantity into one bag of concrete for one meter cube of concrete how many bags we do need that's a multiplication will give me the Total number of bags that we have consumed or till date that's a 1645.5 bags is a total quantity of cement bags that I have consumed on the site. So let us see actually the reconciliation sheet what it has to tell you. Now the cement reconciliation summary that's a total first row says that total supply of the cement bags up to date means whatever the running account bill that you are submitting on or based on it has been checking on that debt you just need to put the total quantity of the cement bags that you are using uh, received on the site that's a 2500 from where can you get that you can get it from the store supplier store manager he's going to give you the total idea regarding how many bags you have received now how many total bags we have consumed that's a 1645 that's a total this one previous sheet this is the number of bags that we have consumed till date now concrete work in progress that's a WIP concrete now what it is that Suppose you have submitted this running account bill on the first of month, okay, first date of the month, 
and the billing engineer of the client is checking it on the sixth or seventh of that same month okay so now what is happening during this first first to six there are nearly six days in past during these days there is a construction going on which is not stopped so whatever the quantity that is still that has been used on a site during these days that's a work in progress quantity that is the total number of 150 bags are still are been used between this period one to six okay now the net balance cement theoretical that is going to be d is equal to total received quantity minus total consumed and a work in progress quantity so a minus b minus c will give me the total number of net theoretical balance of the cement bags next one now the actual balance at site which is equal to 550 now what is this 550 this is the actually storeroom you visit the storeroom and you find that there are only 550 bags left and the other one miscellaneous for layout and other work so now well before start of any construction activity you need to uh, set up the benchmarks for that some construction you know cement is been used and some at the start of work during the work some extra bags are used for works which are not mentioned on the you know site uh, during this or uh, in this uh, contract so if this work is not explained into the contract this is under the miscellaneous layouts works okay so for that nearly we have used 50 bags just taking the example so now Wastage or shortage of the cement bags up to this running account is equal to F that is equal to D that is a net balance cement theoretical that we have calculated minus these two will give me the idea regarding how many bags that we have short how many bags there are short nearly 104.5 bags are missing we don't know where they are so now net wastage if I want to calculate in percentage I want to calculate this percentage that is equal to this percentage one one zero four this number missing bags one zero four point five divided by b plus c b plus c is a consumed quantity and a work in progress quantity so measure of that so this is the quantity which is going to give you that this is the actual b and c is a quantity which we are utilized so with compared to that we are doing going to do every percentage so that is nearly five point eighty two percentage of the bag means a percent is a extra we have done or the vestige we have done and the permissible wastage the there is always a clause in your contract that this much amount of wastage is permissible to you this much of amount of you know this much of quantity is okay if it is waste that will be you know given return with the as they do know that these calculations are with the previous examples and the previous experiences so there is always a two percent of two two point five percent of the wastage is allowed so that two percent of wastage has been allowed on your site so now what is the extra the wastage we have done that is equal to actual wastage we have done minus allowable wastage that is 3.82 percent extra wastage we have done so now we need to convert this into the bags so how we are going to do that that's a total wastage extra wastage we have done into consumed quantity extra wastage we have done into consumed quantity that 68.59 number of bags that we have used extra so now either we have used extra we have wasted we have misplaced it or something has happened theft has happened or anything it might be i'm not just pulling out any string but this is what these are number of bags which are still missing so there will be a debit to the contractor if this is a final bill if this submitted bill is to be final then we are going to give him a debit or if this running account bill is in between the final bill so we are just going to hold this much of amount of the cost okay so now by what cost i am going to multiply to this one as now the cement the one bag of cement cost nearly 300 rupees sometime it cost 280 rupees you know based on the opc cement bag that's a 290 around then there are 320 sometimes these days it is 350 around okay so now by what quantity i am going to multiply to this this uh, i am going to take a whole average of whatever the bags i have received with the whatever the cost i have so based on that i'll just going to multiply with the average cost of that received bags okay so whatever the quantity that i'm going to have amount of rupees i'm going to be getting this much of will be the debit or holding amount for the contractor now this is very important concept that i have explained to you and reconciliation will be similar throughout we are going to have the steel reconciliation also which is going to be very alike you just need to keep in your mind a very important aspect that is whatever the quantity that you're utilizing on a site you should keep a track of it on a uh, some regular basis it, it might be weekly quarterly on a 15 days basis or even a monthly basis 
you just need to keep a track of that because if you do reconciliation at the end of the project it is going to be you know huge difference for your you know costing so you just need to keep in a track of that with this i wish you all the best thank you so much